Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today, I'm gonna to wash my Gucci leather strap Flora Design purse. And I've had it for, I wanna say probably over 10 years. And during that time, I've just spot washed it. And when I spot wash it, I would rub this edge with like a wet wipe, but then it seems to collect the dirt around this edge uh, even more. So I've decided to just wash the whole bag. And on the back side, I'll show you over here, um, I actually spilt cranberry water on this. So I'm not sure how this is gonna come out here. It was in a tote bag. I always carry this purse when I go to work and I put it in a giant tote bag and I carry cranberry water with me and it leaked out onto the purse and left this stain. So I'm not sure how this is going to come out because it's cranberry, but we'll see. On this side, you can really see the build up here from using the wet wipe. And I, I love this purse and I use it as an everyday purse. So I go to the hardware store with it. I go to the Lowe's garden center and my hands get really dirty when you're at the, at the hardware stores. And then when you grab this to open it up, that's what causes this um, residue at the top here. And I think that when I use wet wipes, it even makes it worse because then after it dries, then it, um, it seems like everything sticks to just right where I scrub it, right here. But like I said, I use it every day as a regular everyday purse, um, you know, spring and summer. And uh, that's when I go to the garden stores a lot, so it gets pretty dirty. And it has gotten pretty dirty over the years. So I'm gonna try washing it, and I'm gonna use the wool light here. And my first thought, thought is that using the wool light with this, I don't know if it's gonna get that cranberry off. It may have to be in the washing machine. And if it doesn't work, just hand washing, then I will stick it in my washing machine and see how that does. I'm gonna use the wool light and I have a bin of hot water in the sink and I'm gonna apply probably an ounce or so of the wool light to the water. So I have the sudsy water now. I put the wool light in, stirred it around. Now I'm gonna soak the purse a bit and I'm gonna keep the, the straps out of the water as much as I can. Like so. And you can see the cranberry stain when it's darker. It really shows up. So we may have trouble getting that off. I'm gonna put some wool light on it and do some hand scrubbing on that area. Because this is a linen, oh, it feels like a linen, and it's gonna absorb that stain of the cranberry. I'm not too worried about this but it's the cranberry and it's a real dark stain once it's wet. I soaked it for about 20 or 30 minutes and the stain is still there. And I tried a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in the water mixture and it didn't help. I also tried some hydrogen peroxide um, just right on the stain and I'm not seeing anything either. So I'm going to try and wash it in the washing machine, and I'm going to use Tide Pods right here and see if that'll come out. I'm putting in, in the washing machine, I'm putting in a few dish towels, and I'll wash it on gentle, and I'll see how that comes out. This is like my last resort. Here's the bag after it came out of the washing machine, and as you can see, the stain is still here. I don't think I acted fast enough to clean up that. And actually I didn't even know it happened because the purse was left in a tote bag. And, and then when I pulled it out, eventually it was too late. And the stain had already set. But as you can see, the color's holding up pretty good as far as washing in the washing machine and using hand washing and adding some peroxide to it, the printed fabric. 
I'm just gonna show you what it looks like, the rest of it from the washing machine. Most people don't have, you know, stained cranberry juice. Um, this edge does seem to be a little bit worn here. And we'll see what it looks like when it dries because I didn't notice it looking this bad. The, the strap I put inside the purse because I didn't want it to catch on the center of my washing machine. So I, and it's protected a little bit inside. I don't really see any damage to this. This little logo looks like it did get a little bit of wear damage here from the washing machine, but not much. But this looks a little bit more worn. Could be just because it's wet. We'll see when this looks like when it dries. I'm going to put it in the sun to dry. If it fades a bit. Because when it's wet, it shows up darker. Let me look at the back here. And this. This discoloration didn't come out, which I'm surprised. Again, when it's dry, it may be better, but... I'm surprised at that. This I can see more wear. And again, I don't know. I don't think that was there before. So I think this edge is what you've got to be concerned about. This held up really well. Here. When it dries, I'll be able to see this and see if I can see a difference. I didn't notice this before. The colors are all bright though, and they have not faded, which is good. I'll show you what it looks like when it dries. What seems to be working, and this is the last resort, um, I took a little bit of bleach, and I put it in the pan here, just like a half a cap full, and a little bit of water. And I'm diluting this. And I'm just rubbing the bleach on the spots. And it seems to be fading the stain. You can see right here at the end where I did it, right in here this was the worst part and it's definitely fading it. I'm just being careful of the printed flowers and then I'm going to rinse it really well and that's taking the stain off. So that's the last resort is bleach and I'm just being very careful because I can still see the dirt rim up here, which I don't like either. So I'm going to dry that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there's the stain. And it has definitely helped. I could work it a little bit more down here. It looks just dirty down in that corner. Actually, the bleach, I'm not seeing a lot of discoloration either because of the bleach on that print. So the print held up really well, which I'm glad. And I think once this dries, I'm going to show you the top up here. The top still stayed grimy, which I'm surprised. A little bit grimy. I can see, a, I can see that edge. But I think when it dries, it'll be better. I'll show you when it's done. But definitely the bleach helped. 
So it's good to know that that floor fabric will hold up with bleach. I don't really see any damage from the washing machine, but I don't think I would recommend washing it unless all re last resort. You know, if you did it regularly, I'm sure you'd see more damage. This, this has come back all right for color. But I did notice that after I washed it in the washing machine, it was a bit soggy. So that's what my concern would be. And I think the strength of it will eventually, if you washed it over and over again, you compromise the strength of the leather. So I don't think I'd recommend washing it in the washing machine, just hand washing and keeping the leather out. Um, I don't think it did any damage to this, the straps, for one-time use, one-time washing. But like I said, I wouldn't do it over and over again. And I think I may do some more spot wash up there. But so for recommendations, I would recommend hand washing in a, in a bin in the sink. And here is the purse that's dry. And the cranberry juice came off really good. So I'm pleased with the cranberry juice. And this area at the top, I could have worked up a little bit more. It is a great improvement, but I know that I've got to focus on that a little bit more because I can see a faint line here, but much better. So I would recommend hand washing this. And if you have any stubborn stains, you can do a little bit of uh, bleach diluted, probably 50-50. And then try and keep the straps out of the water as much as you can. And I think it'll be fine. And then I rinse really well the bleach on any areas. Now, I didn't cover and saturate the whole purse with that. I only dabbed it with the Q-tips in certain areas. And then I rinsed them. But there it is. And... I hope that if you have a purse similar to this, uh, your spots and stains will come out as well. And as always, I want to thank my patrons who've signed up for my Patreon account. If you'd like to support this channel, you may do so as well. Just click on the title to the video and it will take you to a link to the Patreon account.